Hey, Ted here at Blue Forest. It's late March in northern Minnesota, and today we're looking at the cattle paddle uh, hoop house that we built in the backyard. I didn't make a video of building this. Kind of wish I would have now, but I'll I'll link uh, to a really good video at Edible Acres, who, who where I got the idea from. Well, let's take a look here. Going inside. It's a pretty simple structure made out of four cattle panels uh, and some remnant uh, poly and probably cost about $150 to put up all together. Um, but today we are seeding out some hardy, cold hardy greens to get a jump start on the growing season. What we're looking at here, I've got some trays set up with different perennials that have been seeded out. Um, I'm just letting them go here in the hoop house. And I think they'll sprout uh, certainly earlier than they would outside. Got pretty cold last night, dipped down into the teens, good freeze. Uh, but everything in here is uh, not frozen, the soil was not frozen. Uh, it's certainly heating up now in the early morning, getting up to 70, 80 degrees in here, even with the door open. Uh, but what I'm working on here, <clears throat> I got a little space, a little bed cleared off, and I've got some various uh, different short growing season greens I'm going to be putting in here. We've got some leafy Asian greens, uh, some garnet stem, uh, dandelion, some hybrid coll collards, uh, Swiss chard, uh, some more leafy Asian, etc. Now the goal here is to use this space uh, in the early months of the spring to get a green crop going. And we'll harvest that and turn it over to um, some other veggies like tomato, cucumber, pepper that really like the uh, warmer environments and we'll, we'll do well in here. And we can get a jump start on those two at the beginning of May instead of waiting until after June, uh, which is the last frost date in our region. So. The, the hoop house itself will certainly provide some protection, although it gets quite chilly at night still. So what I've got here on this side is a little uh, cold frame set up with an old window. Uh, I just found it at the, uh, the reuse center. You can find all sorts of windows, used windows, given away for free if you look for it. Um, and so what this is gonna do is just it's propped open right now, but I'm going to shut it um, more towards the evening time. And it will just collate, create an extra layer of insulation um, and keep this bed a little bit warmer than the rest of the uh, high tunnel. So it will add uh, a little bit more protection for these greens and get them going. Once I put the stem or the seeds in, I'm going to be mulching here with some old straw. You can really use whatever you have on hand, but. Nice light straw hay, works well. Um, and I hope to run, I got some extra scraps of poly. So I'm thinking about making another little tunnel about this high that goes like that across each bed here and here. So we'll have two little poly tunnels within this tunnel. Um, combining that with this simple Cold frame should really provide a lot of protection. And honestly, I probably could have got going on this uh, earlier in the, in the year, um, especially with how warm it's been. Um, but you know, lots of projects to do, so better late than never. I'm gonna keep some updates on how this goes, but really simple way uh, in a small space to do some season extension work and get some uh, fresh, vibrant greens from your garden early on the season. Hope this is uh, inspiring and I'd like to hear what you all are trying and doing uh, as far as seed starting and uh, season extension. You can see over here there's uh, just a few things already popping up. There's some extra garlic that just got stuck in here. And you can see them already shooting up here in March. And they don't mind it at all. It gets cold, but there's more over here. Um, probably half of this is planted out to a perennial planting. 
and half will be for some annual crops, but I can see more of these being used. Um, they don't take up much space. It's about 17 feet long by mm, seven feet wide. So yeah, hope that's uh, interesting and helpful and good luck growing.